Saturn V quarterly film report number seven covers progress during the period June, July, and August 1964. Work on the S1C stage by Boeing and Marshall continued during the report period. Preparation for structural testing of the S1C test fuel tank was completed and full pressure hydrostatic testing was begun by Boeing August 4th at the Marshall Space Flight Center, but was interrupted when discrepancies in the test setup were encountered. Repair and rework of the test gear are in progress and resumption of testing is scheduled for mid-September. Installation of the five LOX tunnels on the fuel tank of the S1CT static firing stage was completed at Marshall on June 6th. Hydrostatic, calibration, and leak testing of the fuel tank began June 22nd and was completed July 20th. On June 15th, the S1CT LOX tank half assemblies were welded together, completing the LOX tank assembly. Hydrostatic testing of the LOX tank started August 6th and was successfully completed on August 15th with minor rework required. Installation of the heat shield for the S1CT thrust structure was started this quarter. The framework of the shield was completed in August and was installed on the thrust structure with panel installation scheduled for next quarter. Cylindrical skin assembly and bulkhead fabrication work continued on the fuel tank for the S1CS, structural test components. Assembly of components, principally bulkhead gore segments for the first flight stage, S1C1, got underway in June. The S1C stage simulator has been cut into the forward and aft sections representing the LOX tank assembly and the fuel tank assembly respectively and will be used next quarter in practice mating operations on the new horizontal assembly fixture scheduled for installation in September. Construction of Marshall's S1C static test stand is nearing completion with beneficial occupancy granted August 1st. Instrumentation equipment is now being installed in the control rooms of the blockhouse, which will serve both the S1C and the F1 engine static test stands. At Marshall's Michoud operations, Boeing's first S1C production bulkhead neared completion. It will be used on the LOX tank of the structural test components vehicle being assembled at Marshall. By the end of June, gore-to-gore -gore welding had been completed and instrumentation brackets spot welded into position. Bulkhead to Y-ring trim and weld were accomplished during July and the unit was made ready for polar cap installation. Also at Michoud, Boeing assembled the first S1CD fuel tank ring by welding together its four sections. And the ring was placed on this fixture for anti-slice ring baffle installation. Boeing S1C component fabrication this quarter included emergency drain ducts for S1C locks and fuel tanks and locks tank cylindrical skin panels. At the Seal Beach facility of North American Aviation Space and Information Systems Division, S2 stage manufacturing activities progressed steadily this quarter. In June, the S2S structural test stage, common bulkhead forward facing sheet was installed on a tracing fixture and a vacuum bell was installed over the facing sheet. A vacuum was applied to draw the facing sheet to a smooth contour and the inner surface of the facing sheet was traced or measured. The vacuum bell was then removed. Based on the tracing data, machining of the surface of the honeycomb core covered aft facing sheet was accomplished. On July 30th, a major milestone was reached when the final bond on the S2S common bulkhead was completed. Before bonding, two impression checks were made. Polyvinyl coating was applied over the honeycomb area. The forward facing sheet supported by the vacuum bell was lowered onto the assembly and a vacuum was applied between the two facing sheets. Prior to applying adhesive to the forward facing sheet, vacuum was applied between the vacuum bell 
and the forward facing sheet in order to remove canning or indentations. Adhesive film was applied to the inner surface of the forward facing sheet after cleaning and priming. Supported by the vacuum bell, it was lowered onto the honeycomb core. After fitting and applying a vacuum between facing sheets, the vacuum bell was removed and the assembly placed in the autoclave for the bonding cycle to produce the first S2 common bulkhead. Welding of this bulkhead to cylinder number one and two subassembly and hydrostatic testing of this unit will be accomplished next quarter. The S2S thrust structure and aft skirt assembly was transferred to station number three of the vertical assembly building in June and baiting to the static firing skirt was accomplished. The liquid hydrogen forward bulkhead and liquid hydrogen tank cylinder number six assembly for the S2S was moved out of station two in the vertical assembly building in early June and installed in station six where hydrostatic testing of the assembly was successfully performed. Following hydrostatic testing, the mating of this assembly to the S2S forward skirt was accomplished in July. To attach the skirt, a total of 572 mating holes were located and drilled. Also during the quarter, the insulated LH2 quarter panels for the common bulkhead test tank were ultrasonically inspected for bonding deficiencies with all panels proving satisfactory. At the S&ID cryogenic test facility at Downey, California, development qualification testing of the 1.6 inch thick helium purged foam filled insulation design for the S21, 2, and 3 was successfully performed in July. Major subassembly on the S2F facilities checkout stage started in late June with the installation of a gore segment on the common bulkhead aft facing sheet meridian weld fixture. At the Santa Susana static test facility, activation of the S2 battleship test stand continued. On July 29th, demonstration of the flame deflector water system was successfully accomplished. At Douglas Aircraft Company's Huntington Beach facility, additional instrumentation was installed on the S-4B hydrostatic vehicle early this quarter at Marshall Center direction in order to provide more complete data in event of a rupture. On July 14th, structural damage occurred on the hydrostatic vehicle due to a weld failure during hydrostatic testing. The rupture occurred at 34 PSIG two PSIG less than proof pressure. The liquid hydrogen tank could not be salvaged, but the LOX tank common bulkhead will be repaired and the LOX tank used in connection with structural testing of the thrust structure. By reduction and analysis of test data obtained prior to rupture of the hydrostatic tank, it was determined that it will not be necessary to resume hydrostatic testing on a future structural vehicle. The S-4B dynamic vehicle was moved into insulation chamber number one in early June and insulation was installed by mid-July. The all system stage tank assembly has been completed and has been prepared for installation of cryogenic insulation. Assembly of the facility's checkout vehicle was completed in late August. At Douglas's Sacramento test area, work continued on the beta and gamma facilities. In June, the J2 engine was installed on the S-4B battleship tank. As the report period ended, preparations were being made for cold flow and hot firing tests next quarter. Checkout of battleship ground support equipment continued at the beta blockhouse. At the gamma facility, the attitude control engines for the S-4B auxiliary propulsion system were received from TAPCO in Los Angeles. The engines are being installed and testing will start next quarter. <laughs>